أبو فاضل هل شايل الراية أبو فاضل هل شايل الله أبو فاضل الله ضحك حتى نهر بتسمع الله هل للأبد ما تعوفه علم على شفوف هلا للأبد ما تعوفه علم على شفوف أبو فاضل هل شايل أبو فاضل هل شايل الله الله للأبد ما تعوفه علم على شفو هلا 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 للأبد ما تعوفه علم على شفو فأبو فاضل هل شايل الراية أبو فاضل هل شايل الله شار بيها حيل تشبه شارته راية العباس سبع القنطرة شار بيها حيل تشبه شارته أثر شف يمعنى على صف رايته راية العباس تموت على العباس قد ما حبته واللي يشمها كان يشم ريحته راية اي تموت على العنباز قد ما حبته تموت على العنباز قد ما حبته تموت على العنباز قد ما حبته واللي يشم كان يشم ريحته نعم على السماء من يعلي طيب السلام عليكم بيس اند بليسنجز اوف الله بي ابون يو اول ويلكم تو ا اي نيو لايف ريبورت فروم ذا هولي لاند اوف كربلاء ريسبكتد فيورز ات ذا مومنت Uh, as you can see, uh, there are a number of processions, celebrating processions that come forth towards the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother, Abu Fadl Abbas, peace be upon them. In addition to the uh, processions, uh, you get to see, particularly on the street, uh, a number of uh, the services units that are, you know, distributed among the streets to provide the services to the pilgrims of Imam Hussein. Uh, basically, uh, at the moment, they are providing uh, court drinks, water, and whatsoever, you know, the substance, because it's Iraq, mate. You know, it's, 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 it's hot out here. Uh, in addition to uh, the services units, we see a number of, uh, of a temporary clinics, uh, you know, temporary units, medical, medical units that are providing services for the pilgrims of Imam Hussein. Uh, respected viewers, uh, when someone sees all of that generosity, all of that, you know, all those services being provided uh, to an utter strangers, you just, you know, pilgrims coming uh, to the holy city of Karbala and those who are providing the services for them. It is, you know, a completely, there, there is no uh, relationship at all between those who provide the services and those who get it. Someone would come, you know, a question would come to someone's mind, you know, it's, it's easily, uh, what pushes people to do that? What is the motivation behind that? You know, uh, what, what, what are you going to, you know, to, to get benefited what, from? So, uh, I think the answer to that is simple. It's the, uh, it's the chivalry, it's the, you know, uh, the futuwa the matter of generosity because uh, as you know my respected viewers the Imam is absent at the time but all that we do everything that we do the small actions and the big actions generosity bad things righteousness truthfulness whatever good deeds or bad deeds that we do are you know go forward to the Imam the Imam knows everything about about his Shiites because you know he is the leader of the Ummah at this time. He is Sahib al-Zamam. So those people basically, you know, those who provide the services, those, and even those who are celebrating, the pilgrims who are here to perform the Ziyarah rituals uh, at Imam Hussein and his brother Abu Fadl Abbas, peace be upon them. All of those are trying to send a message to the master of our time, His Majesty Imam al-Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance, are trying to send him a message that we are here to revive the matter of the Ahlul Bayt السلام. We are here to revive the teachings of the Ahlul Bayt السلام. We, I have seen in person 
a lot of uh, you know a lot of sheikhs who are who are teaching the youth about uh, about how to do the rituals a lot of a lot of elders who are sitting at the services units you know uh, in groups with the young men teaching them how how to perform the ziyara and about a'mal the mid of shaban you see all of that uh, comes you know brings you to another point in addition to the generosity and the, generos the generosity and interaction brings you to another point that people are coexisting uh, the elders are trying you know uh, to to tell uh, to transport uh, their science is all they know about about the Sahib Zaman. May Allah hasten his reappearance to the young man. They're trying to teach them how to supplicate Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala because uh, all the du'as and I will you know I will tell you how everything uh, and the narrations of the Ahlul Bayt. These elders and this image brought me in mind. You know uh, you know uh, took me to the time that you know it takes you. To the to your in your imagination to the time that when the Imam is here, when all that love, compassion, and justice that will come with the Imam, and how uh, the societies will be, it takes you back and forth to feel that the generosity uh, that uh, on the time of the Imam, how is it uh, here? Now we get to see. Uh, the same thing, almost the same, not you know entirely the same thing, but almost the same thing when you see elder people trying to teach the youngsters uh, how to do the ziyara and uh, teaching them on how uh, to do uh, a salah on, and teaching them how to do the wudu and teaching them a lot of things about religion and teaching them a lot of things about uh, the master of our time, about Sahib al-Zamam. You know, uh, it's, it's a great thing that happens. You know, uh, those servants that, are, that, that left their homes, uh, you know, uh, yesterday uh, I was in a report and I've seen that uh, there are some services units that came from the south of Iraq. You know, it's, it's 600 kilometers all the way to the holy city of Karbala. They, they've abandoned their homes, their jobs and everything just to be here in Karbala, just to provide the services in addition to the services they are providing, they are culturally educating the youth, uh, telling them information about the master of our time, uh, educating the youth about uh, how the time of the Dhuhr and what are the signs of the Dhuhr. You know, those who don't know, I think they are greatly they have greatly benefited uh, these sessions uh, not only the sessions that are they are benefited of but also uh, they get to know you know uh, the true reward of being here at the city of Karbala particularly at this time you know it's a great chance I know a lot of people uh, from the United States from Europe in general uh, telling me that they wish if they could have been here but they had, you know, they are linked to their jobs and uh, linked to their families, and they've, you know, they've got certain circumstances that uh, that pushes them not to come uh, to Karbala. Inshallah, they will have the chance uh, to be here. But if we go back to the elders and to that to that certain image, you know, uh, elder people teaching young men uh, about Sahib Zaman about the master of our time, teaching them about uh, uh, the time of the Zuhur and how should we await the Imam, uh, the culture of, of awaiting the master of our time. Respected viewers, uh, as you see, uh, the general atmosphere right here uh, around me, uh, there are a lot of people who are uh, going to perform uh, the Ziyar rituals. Uh, and uh, mashallah, it's 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 totally confusing how uh, you know uh, you know how, how how the services units are being able to provide uh, the services for all these numbers of people. You're, you're probably not seeing the image clear right here, 
but uh, you know, straight forwards near the Imam, near the Imam's holy shrine. You get to see uh, the true image. Uh, a lot of people. It's about uh, you know, you've got no place to stand in. Uh, right now, I will go to uh, another uh, thing uh, about the Imam, peace be upon him, and the narrations about uh, the ziyara and uh, the mid of Sha'ban. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, and his progeny has said, during the night of the 15th of Sha'ban, Allah the Almighty takes decisions uh, in matters of sustenance, life, uh, death and welfare of the people. Imagine how, how great night it is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala compares it to the night of Qadr. Subhanallah. Uh, it's, however, it's not surprising because it's, it's the night where Sahib al-Zaman, the master of our time, uh, you know, is being birthed. You know, it's the birth anniversary of Sahib al-Zaman of uh, the Imam that will uh, propagate uh, justice, equality, and also take the revenge for his grandfather, which is a, an important point. Next, the narration continues. Next to the night of Qadr, the night of the 15th of Sha'ban is the most auspicious night, according to the Imams, uh, Muhammad ibn Ali al-Baqir alayhi salam and Ja'far ibn Muhammad al-Sadiq. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised to fulfill every legitimate desire uh, put forward to him tonight. So respected viewers, prepare your wishes. Prepare your hajat. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, according to a narration from the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him and his progeny, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will fulfill these, uh, you know, these hajat, insha'Allah. The narration continues also during uh, this night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestows on his people from his bounty and forgives them out of his grace and generosity of the blessings of this night is that uh, at the dawn his, of, of this night was born the leader of the time, Imam al-Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance in Samarra on uh, the t uh, 255 after Hijra. It also continues a hadith in the book of Iqbalul Amal. Therefore, stay awake. Therefore, stay awake. Uh, therefore, stay awake this night in prayer and worship and encourage your ummah, encourage your brothers, sisters, families to also keep awake this night in order to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because people with their supplications, with their prayers, with their hajat, they will be at the closest point to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, glorified and exalted is He through their actions. Since this is a noble night, the narration also continues, uh, this is a night in which not a single person supplicates to Allah except that this prayer, except that his prayer is accepted. Nobody asks for a single thing on this night except that it will be given to him. The, the narration from the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him and his progeny, the narration, uh, uh, narrations from the Holy Imams, Muhammad al-Baqar, peace be upon him and uh, and uh, Imam Ja'far ibn Muhammad, peace be upon him, narrations from the Imams, uh, stresses on the importance of, uh, of this night in particular. It says that uh, your hajat, prepare your hajat, brothers and sisters. Uh, prepare your supplications, your supplications, your du'as. Prefer, prepare whatever you can do, for this night is holy, for this night is sacred. For at this night, the greatest secret of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will get birth. Uh, the narration continues, uh, whoever is deprived of the goodness of this night has definitely been deprived of something great. So don't deprive, so don't get yourself deprived from the blessings of this night.
It is, uh, it is a great night, the night of the mid of Sha'ban, inshallah tomorrow. It is a great night that the master of our time will be, will be born at this night. Uh, as you have heard uh, from the uh, narrations of, of the Ahlul Bayt, from the narration of the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him and his progeny. It says that all your hajat, all your supplications and all your actions will, you know, in actions and in, in matters of prayers uh, will bring you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will bring you to the closest point where all your hajat, inshallah, uh, be accepted. And uh, it is a promised thing by the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him and his progeny. The first thing that the Salik, the Waifra, you know, the, the narration also continues. The first thing that uh, that, that Salik, the Waifra, on the path towards Allah, glorified and exalted is he, must perform on this night, is that he must, he must remove the material pleasure and enjoyment of, of this night from in front of his eyes. Uh, remove the worldly pleasures from yourselves. Remove the worldly pleasures uh, from your hearts, my brothers and sisters, uh, because it will take you, you know, farther from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, the narration also continues and from his heart, not only uh, your eyes, that these materialistic uh, wishes, that these materialistic things, that the worldly pleasures, not only from your eyes you keep them away, but also keep them away from your heart. And in order to make the most of, his special, of this special night and ensure that all of his actions, are, all of these actions are performed properly, the, 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 the waferer, the person who goes uh, towards the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he must think to himself that night is his last night on earth. My brothers and sisters, on the night of the mid of Sha'ban, imagine that uh, it is the last night uh, in your life. Imagine that you can't do any action or good deed. Imagine that uh, there is nothing good after this night that you can do. And do your supplications. Do them with that wish in your heart. That, you know, uh, that thing in your heart that, oh, this is the last action for us. This is the last thing we do uh, in life. The narration also uh, continues uh, is the last night of his meaning that tomorrow uh, he shall die and thus he will no longer have the opportunity to perform any more good deeds and that tomorrow is the day of judgment where all the deeds will be you know will be portrayed in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala respected viewers uh, I leave you now with uh, live footages from the areas neighboring the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu Fadl Abbas, peace be upon them, and uh, uh, live footages uh, from near the holy shrine of uh, Imam Hussein and the holy shrine of his uh, brother Abu Fadl Abbas, uh, peace be upon them. So stay tuned, dear brothers and sisters. We'll be back in short break. Stay tuned. شايل الراية أبو فاضل هل الله أبو فاضل الله ضحك حتى نهر بتسمع الله حل للأبد ما تعوفه علي ما على شفو هلا للأبد ما تعوفه علي ما على شفو أبو فاضل هل شايل أبو فاضل هل شايل الله الله إلى أبد ما تعوفه علم على شفو هلا 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 هلا
لعبد ما تعوفه علي ما على شفوفه ابو فاه على شايل الرايه ابو فاضل هلا شاره الله شار بيها حيل تشبه شارته رايه العباس سبع القنطره شار بيها حيل تشبه شارته اثر شف على عصت رايته رايه العباس تموت على العباس قد ما حبته ولي شمها كن يشم من ريحته هاي تموت على العباس قد ما حبته تموت على العباس قد ما حبته تموت على العباس قد ما حبته ولي شمها كن يشم من ريحته نعم على السما من يعليها نعم على السما من يعليها يغطي هالشمس من يهزبي الله لحظة مو ملفوفة علي ما على شفوفة لحظة مو ملفوفة علي ما على شفوفة أبو فاضل هل شايل الرأي أبو فاضل هل شايل Respected viewers, uh, back to you uh, from the streets, neighboring the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu Fadl Abbas. Uh, peace be upon them. You might have, you might want to uh, have uh, record this uh, because it's important. It's the amal of the night of the mid of Shaban. The first uh, amal uh, is to recite 100 times Subhanallah. Walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. The second amal uh, is to take ghusl, bath, with the thought of washing away sins and as if it's your last ghusl. Respected viewers, uh, you know, when you take that ghusl, the ghusl of, of the mid of Sha'bam, you've got to uh, make an intention in your heart that you are washing the sins out of you. And to think of it as the last, just like we said, all the a'mal that you do, you do it in the intention of, uh, of that. These, these a'mal are the last a'mal you do in your lives. The third amal, recite 100 times, astaghfirullah, with the intention of seeking forgiveness. Astaghfirullah with the intention of seeking forgiveness is, uh, is of great, uh, magnitude. The fourth amal, recite ziyara of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and special ziyara and special ziyara of Imam Hussein for 15 Sha'bam as well as all the prophets and angels visit the Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, uh, on this night as a sort as a uh, as a sort salutation. One may go. Uh, to the Terence, an elevated place, just go to any elevated place, like uh, the, uh, the top of your house is on the roof, you just stand there and say, Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdullah wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you, O Aba Abdullah. Peace and Allah's mercy and blessings be upon you. The fifth amal is to recite namaz. Uh, the Salat of Ja'far al tayyar The sixth uh, Amal uh, is to recite Dua Kumail for seeking forgiveness. Uh, in hadiths, you know, uh, this, this, these, are, these hadiths and narrations are about uh, uh, Dua Kumail. In hadith, it is mentioned that Kumail ibn Ziyad said, I was sitting with my master, Amir al muminin Ali ibn Abi Talib salam, in Masjid al-Kufa and a group of companions were also sitting with him. One of them asked him, what, the meaning, what is the meaning of the verse whereupon every wise command is made clear? The Imam, peace be upon him, replied, the meaning of this the night of the 15th of Sha'bam. I swear, the Imam says here, I swear 
by the one who holds the life of Ali in his hands. There is not a single servant of Allah except that all the good and bad that will reach him this year is divided up and handed out on the 15th of Sha'ban. And this good and bad will continue from the 15th of Sha'ban until next year on the same night. Uh, so uh, basically it says here that uh, the A'mal, the rewards, uh, and everything, whatever, that, whatever good thing that, that will happen to you, uh, whatever good thing also that will happen to you, will all be divided uh, at the night of Sha'ban. The narration continues, one must see closeness to Imam al-Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance, the hujjah of our time. Uh, Walil mu'mineen, the greatest secret of Allah, the possessor of the divine uh, occultation and inviter to the message of the Prophet, the successor of all Prophets and the successor and so on continues uh, of, uh, of, of, the, of, the, of the nicknames of the Imam. May Allah hasten his reappearance. Respected viewers, uh, thank you very much for joining us uh, in this uh, live report from the streets uh, neighboring the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu Fadl Abbas, peace be upon them. Uh, stay tuned for more live, uh, for more live shows uh, and reports uh, from Imam Hussein TV3. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. للأبد ما تعوفه علي ما على شفو هلا للأبد ما تعوفه علي ما على شفو أبو فاضل هلا شايل الله أبو فاضل هلا شايل الله الله للأبد ما تعوفه علي ما على شفو هلا 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 إلى أبد ما تعوفه علي ما على شفوفه أبو فاضل هلا شايل الراية أبو فاضل هلا شايل الله شار بيها حيل تشبه شار أنت راية العباس سبع القنطرة شار بيها حيل تشبه شار أنت